This is Stephanie Manley with Copycat.com. I'm going to show you how you can make your own homemade cream cheese. Homemade cream cheese is so easy to make and it tastes so wonderfully rich and creamy. So why don't we get started? This takes just a couple of ingredients and the first ingredient is half and half. The second ingredient you will need to purchase from a specialty store is called Mesiophilic Culture. There's lots of stores online that sell this culture, and you know what? It's so easy to do, so why not give it a try? All I'm going to do is take this package of mesophilic culture and put it in. You know, and this bit of the small amount of culture will actually do up to a gallon of half and half, but I don't need quite that much cream cheese, and all you have to do is stir in the culture. You can see that's really easy to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap and I'm going to leave this on my kitchen counter for just about 18 to 24 hours. We're going to go ahead and let that culture do its thing and turn into cream cheese. So it's been about 18 to 24 hours and my cream cheese is done. And you're going to be wondering, is it done, is it done? Well, you know what? After about 18 to 24 hours, it turns into this. And look at it. It's like Greek style yogurt. But you know what? It's not cream cheese just yet. We need to drain the whey out of the cream cheese. So I am going to use a stainless steel pot and some butter cloth. Now, this isn't cheesecloth because the fabric is much more dense than cheesecloth. It will drip right out of cheesecloth if you try it. So try some butter cloth. Or you may want to try a flour sack towel. You can see this one that I have right here. I think this would work well. It's going to go ahead and let the whey drain out just fine. So I need to go ahead and secure my butter cloth into the loops of my pan. If you don't do this, it'll slide immediately into the pan, which is no big deal, but you're not going to drain that way out to make it nice and thick. And I want to leave a little pocket in here. Okay, so I've gotten my cream cheese, and I am just going to dump it in here. And then I'm going to reposition my towel or my butter cloth here, and let that whey drain right out. Now it's going to take about, I don't know, three or four hours before it's done. And then you know what? You can put it into an airtight container and you have homemade cream cheese. For more great recipes, come to copycat.com.